Uh, thank you, sir, for this opportunity. I am Kaushik Gopal Bhavankar, and I come from the district Nagpur of Maharashtra State. I have done my schooling from Nagpur itself, and then completed diploma from Government Polytechnic Nagpur in Mechanical Engineering. Then I go for uh, then I went for uh, Mechanical Engineering graduation from College of Engineering Pune, which is considered to be the third oldest college in India, sir. Uh, there I got placed in L and T Power. I worked there for two years, and then I resigned uh, to prepare uh, for the gate exam, sir. My hobbies include uh, cooking in my free time and journal writing. Okay, so where you work, you said? Uh, sir, I work for LNT Power, sir. But there are good. How long? You are still working? Uh, no, sir. I have resigned in two thousand and twenty-one. So since uh, how long? I mean, how many years you worked in LNT Power? Sir, I worked for two years, sir. So why you resigned from that? So actually, uh, uh, I was very clear about the uh, work. Uh, so my uh, major aim during my B Tech it was like working in PSU only. So I started uh, preparing for PSU with LNT, but I very soon I realized that I need to prepare uh, for full uh, for, at full fledged. So for full fledged preparation of gate exam, I resigned from LNT. So. Mm. So you worked there for two years, right? Yes, sir. Mm, tell us more about your job profile. Sure, sir. Uh, sir, uh, basically, uh, LNT Power was uh, LNT Power uh, is into EPC projects, sir. And at that time, uh, uh, we were working on EPC projects of FGD units of various thermal power plant, that is, flue gas desulfurization units, sir. And uh, in that domain, I was basically working under metal handling team of limestone handling, sir. Basically, I worked in engineering and procurement area, in engineering division. I contributed uh, in the stuff like uh, uh, review, uh, fabrication drawing reviews of various technological structures of belt conveyors, that is stranger short post, discharge chutes, uh, pulley frames, likewise. Sir. And uh, in procurement area, I was majorly into uh, pre uh, pre order uh, process, uh, that is uh, preparing, uh, that is basically technical bid evaluation. Sir. Hmm. Okay, so what was your contribution to your uh, company? Sir, I contributed in engineering by uh, in engineering division by reviewing various fabrication drawings. Sir. That is, uh, as in EPC projects of FGD units, there are uh, various uh, belt conveyors sir, required for metal handling of limestones. And sir, uh, for limestone units, uh, uh, for that uh, metal handling system, uh, we need to actually just uh, uh, that cross check whether vendor is providing the correct dimensioning or correct information regarding the stuff of mod. So we were actually reviewing the fabrication drawing provided by vendor according to the uh, structural GA, which is prepared by our civil structural team at in-house LNT sir. Uh, this was my contribution in engineering division and coming back to uh, my procurement contribution. I worked for a uh, technical bid evaluation to finalize the vendor selection process, sir. Mm. And how you were involved in vendor selection process? With what tools you used to do that? Uh, sir, I used to do like uh, this process actually started with preparing technical specification of particular component. Then, for, uh, then uh, after preparing technical specification, uh, there was uh, provision of request for quotation for uh, from various bidders or vendors, then mm -hmm. uh, sir, uh, uh, finding whether uh, uh, their finding whether their offers are valid or not, and then preparing a technical uh, comparison data sheets whether the vendor is meeting all the technical requirements of the project or not, and then finally uh, giving the technical clearance based on all the parameters which client is actually uh, required uh, as per the client that is tender documents. And then, mm -hmm. uh, and then, sir, handling over uh, after giving technical clearance, this uh, uh, this was handled over to the PMG group, which uh, which was looking over its financial aspects sir, to finalize the vendor uh, on the basis of its past performance and uh, uh, the fees and all the financial terms he is charging from. You have any idea who is what is the purchase order? Uh, sorry, sir. You have any idea about what is purchase order? Yes, sir. The purchase order basically a document at which uh, we 
after final uh, after finalizing the vendor we are giving him uh, the requirement a requirement to uh, uh, supply the uh, said product or service sir mm. okay what are mentioned in purchase order sir in purchase order uh, basically the scope of work is mentioned that is uh, how much uh, vendor has to supply us and the terms and condition the deadlines at uh, before which the, he has to supply the uh, uh, that is services to us and sir uh, majorly the finance related terms like uh, uh, the pricing and also mm. so kosti can you tell us some incidents where you faced problem in the organization and how did you overcome it yes sir sir uh, during joining we were placed into uh, like in engineering division sir and after working there for 2 3 months then uh, the requirement came from procurement side and we uh, we have we need to shift it to the procurement division there i did not know how to proceed with but sir uh, my seniors i uh, i asked my seniors uh, that how i need to proceed that how, what are the uh, prerequisite i should know then sir i uh, Uh, to help from my seniors in uh, in getting streamlining with the process sir and uh, this is how uh, day by day i improved and uh, uh, finally uh, i was uh, working uh, in a nice way sir mm. have you ever handled uh, any team in the job uh, sir not in the job uh, but uh, in during my btech project i handled a team of 20 members sir we actually participated in national level competition so i handled their team of 20 members sir mm. okay so koshik now tell us something about your project sure sir sir my btech project was uh, basically we uh, did my uh, we did a project uh, with the aim of participating in the competition sir there is a national level competition named tech uh, H- sai fe cycle which was organized by uh, society of automotive engineers sir and there we participated so it was regarding uh, design and development of three wheeled hybrid vehicles sir hybrid in the sense that is electrical transmission plus manual transmission sir mm. what did you do in that sir uh, i served as a vice captain of the team and my major role was uh, to design a steering system of the vehicle and uh, going for the structural analysis that is uh, structural analysis of vehicle by using ansys software sir yeah so what was the application of this for the real world uh sir uh in the real world sir uh, uh hy- hybrid vehicle this is this can be used uh, to reduce carbon emission levels sir because uh, now what uh, now pollution level has increased so this can be used as alternative uh, for carbon emission level reductions hmm okay so could you achieve the target which you set for yourself sir actually uh, uh, yes sir the requirement uh, of the project was achieved and the uh, uh, by the team's effort uh, we won the competition uh, with the first title sir yes. mm. okay okay uh, koshik let me give you the inputs now yes sir koshik uh, your uh, gap of uh, this uh, couple of years can be a, a one uh, question from you know they may ask you because yes, it is sir. lnt you have left and it is a good job actually yes, right sir. so why you left it and uh, now it is almost 2 uh, 3 years when you left it right yes sir uh, though uh, job experience you mentioned looks like okay i mean uh, it's okay jo aapne bataya sara उसमें ठीक है वो जॉब एक्सपीरियंस जिस तरीके से आपने एक्सप्लेन किया जो आप बोता रहे हो उसमें चल जाएगा वो उनके हिसाब से कोई क्वेश्चन का आंसर नहीं आएगा तो आप इनकार कर देना कि सॉरी सर नो आइडिया अबाउट दैट एंड प्रोजेक्ट आल्सो व्हाट यू मेंशन ओनली थिंग इज लाइक योर ओन एफर्ट थोड़ा और ज्यादा बता सकें क्योंकि इसको देख के आपने बताया कि एनसीज वगैरह में आपने काम किया एंड ऑल बट थोड़ा सा और कि सर ये पैरामीटर्स थे ये हमने एक्सपेरिमेंट किया ये हमने ऐसे किया इसका फाइंडिंग ये था थोड़ा और पैशन के साथ कि ये इनपुट्स वगैरह बताने को आप बता सकते हैं मतलब लेकिन ऐसे भी होता है कि जब कंटेंट एनरिचमेंट नहीं है उस आंसर में तो उसका वैल्यू आपको ना मिले तो जो आपने बताया उसमें थोड़ा सा और ऐड करके कि इस तरीके से है चीजें वो आपको बताना चाहिए राइट सर मतलब मैं आ, उनको एक्सप्लेन कर सकता हूँ कि मैंने क्या क्या किया एक्चुअली प्रोजेक्ट में हाँ हाँ बता, बता देना आप उनको अगर पूछेंगे तो 
ओके सर वो मतलब ऐसा लेंदी में लेंदी आंसर्स में नहीं नहीं आप उनको बोल रहे हैं कि सर शुड आई टेल यू अबाउट द पैरामीटर्स विच आई चोस दिस थिंग तो उससे पूछ पूछ के आगे थोड़ा डिटेल में जाना अगर इंटरेस्टेड ओके होंगे तो पूछते जाएंगे आपसे राइट 